So it's been a week. What's it feel, felt like to you? Has it all kind of been a blur at this point? You mean all the games every other day against the mm -hmm. top teams in the league? Yeah. It's, Pressure of national TV, everything. Yeah, I mean, but you know what? Like, we're gonna we're owning it. Um, I see improvement every day. Um, they're they're willing to learn and, and working together to get better as a team, which is hard to do when you can't practice. What were the positives you took out of, especially that first half? It felt like you guys really started to get in the groove of things that you had been preaching throughout training camp. Finally. Yeah, I, you know, I feel like against Connecticut, they didn't get our best shot. 25 turnovers, you don't really give yourself a chance. Came home, and I think we all just, you know, the, we all just kind of stood and looked instead of, you know, really embracing that moment. And then went to New York and really showed up, competed. That's what we talked about, just compete. And, and we did that, and it kind of showed where we were in that moment and what we need to improve on in certain areas when in the past two games it was like, we just have to compete better, and then we can see where we are. Well, what else do you think you need to improve on for tonight's game? Yeah, I think obviously, you know, they're going to be really physical with us. Um, they're a physical team. We have to make sure that we are ready for that. Um, and what we need to do to counter that physicality. Um, and that's what we've been talking about, showing a video, worked on and shoot around. Um, and I think our transition defense as well. Our transition defense has got to get better. You know, New York came out and shot the hell out of it um, in the first quarter. Um, I think they had like 10 or 12 threes, and it was in a lot of them in transition. Transition defense is huge for us. Where does that start? What's the message? It starts with as the, on the rise of the shot. On the rise of the shot, you got people sprinting back, and that's we watched every one of our transition clips this week. Caleb, you saw it at uh, New York, you know, 20, 22 degrees. Um, in terms of the turnovers, though, what, have, what have you kind of mentoring to kind of limit those? Yeah, I, you know, it's 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 chemistry and playing together and timing. That's all. That all takes time. Timing is timing. We haven't had the time for them to play together. You know, we had Kelsey Mitchell in half of a practice before we played our first game. So like those two out there together, that the, the speed they have, that takes that takes time. And then also for our posts, learning each other, learning how who's going to roll where, who's more comfortable in certain positions. We just hadn't had that, and so that's going to come. Court vision. She's a good court vision. Um, she's always looking up. Sometimes she's throwing really long passes. Are you fond of that? Do you want her to cut that out or, or, or do less of it? Just make really long passes on the floor. I want. I want our team to make the best pass available for our team. Whatever that. Whatever that is for us to have the best result. That's the pass I want us to make. Whether it's the easy one or the home run one. Whatever's best for our team. I know how you are. Excitement, the pace of the rubs off on fever. Oh yeah, I mean, we're so happy for them and proud of them. Um, going on to the next, you know, to the next um, round of these playoffs. I mean, it's awesome. The excitement is amazing. It's right where we want to be. It's where we're aiming for. How do you feel like your team's handled the poise, the additional pressure? I mean, the team that gets the number one pick is being spotlighted the most at this point right now. Yeah, um, it's, it's a lot. It is, and and you know we're working through it, and we're gonna figure it out. I mean, it's great for our game. Um, it's not so great for a young team when you're trying to figure things out and to have those expectations. We have to keep it in house and have our own expectations and know what they are and work towards our goals. Will this road trip maybe be a nice sign of relief at all? Getting away from things, being on the road together, the bonding that comes with road trips. Yeah, I think you get that. I think you also get rest. Like at, when you're on the road, to me as a coach, that's where I get a lot of good rest. You know, at home or you know we've got family and friends who are around for home games, but on the road you get a you get a chance to rest. But yeah, that's where teams have an opportunity to bond. Have you kind of made it your first week here. Is it, what has it felt like to you? It's been fun. It's been good. Um, I think the biggest thing is like this team just has a energy and positive attitude no matter what the circumstance is. I think we all feel like we're getting a lot better. I think especially when we went when we went to New York, we felt like that was a step forward for us. Um, and you have to remember like that's one of the best teams in the league. And I thought there was glimpses of you know we cut it to ten uh, points around there in the fourth quarter. So um, I think the positive attitude, the energy. Um, but I've had a lot of fun. You know. My first week in the WNBA, obviously the results aren't exactly what we wanted, but just got to worry about the process and finding ways to get better, and uh, I think that's what we're doing. It felt like that first half, it was kind of a flow of what you were more accustomed to. Mm -hmm. What led to that? I think just the speed and the pace that I played with. I think getting the ball and attacking downhill, um, keeping the defense on their toes. I think we, I just played with a lot more pace, a lot more energy. I think we all did overall. Um, we got some good screen set in transition, um, and that's how we want to play. We want to play fast. We want to play in transition. Um, but I think just like the energy and, and you know just the I don't know step I had. I think I definitely came to the into the game with a little bit more of an aggressive attitude and wanted to go you know take it and do things in my control rather than like taking what the defense gave me. I wanted to kind of put my foot down and do that. So I think that's gonna be another key going into this game. Obviously a team we've already played, and um, I think that's what brought me success um, in New York. Uh, last time here, home opener for a game. Mm -hmm. Now game four. Mm -hmm. um, are you starting to feel a little 
this yeah, for sure. I think the comfortability will come as you know I continue to stack games. I felt more comfortable in game three than I did in game two, and um, I think just as our team builds more chemistry with each other, it's going to be good. And I don't think our fans really got a true, accurate representation the last time we played here of you know what this team is and, and what we're capable to do. So we're hoping to give them a, a great showing tonight um, and play with that competitive fire, get them involved, give them something to cheer about. Um, but yeah, anytime you get to play in front of your home environment. I think it's it's really good, and you know, as I continue to play games here, I'll definitely get more co comfortable in this arena, these rims, the court, whatever it is. And um, yeah, I think it's, it's this is definitely one we can build off of if we can find a way to get a win. And then obviously we have a, a long road trip, but I think if we were you know able to get a win tonight, it would bring us a lot of confidence. You help sell out Barclays Center. Is that something anymore you think about? Take a moment, or has that <laughs> been your new normal since the last couple of years? I don't know. I don't think it's anything that really gets old, but at the same time, like it, it's. I don't know, I mean, I try to take it in and soak in the moment. Like, you look around um, both during the national anthem, like the celebrities that are courtside, the people that are showing up for these games, and obviously New York's tremendous too. They have a huge part in it as well, but um, the amount of people there in, in Caitlin Clark or India and Fever, or my jerseys, my t-shirts, whatever it is, um, it's, it's super cool. Like, just hearing young girls, like, scream your name, I try to take as much time as I can for them, and, um, you know, even though, you know, we lost and it wasn't amazing, you it puts into perspective the effect that you have on, you know, people in their lives, no matter what the outcome is. Like, these girls are still thrilled to come and watch women's basketball, and for me, that's something that, you know, keeps you grounded and keeps you humble, is, like, you're still making a huge impact to people all across the country and really the world, um, and for me, like, that's, that, that's what gets you up every day and continue to come back to work and, um, and enjoy the process of, you know, getting better and becoming, you know, a winning team. Since you've come to this franchise, have you developed any, had time even to develop a relationship with Ty in terms of stuff you're seeing yeah. on the floor, or he's feeling, or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, I haven't just really yet. talked to him too much. Obviously, okay. he's pretty busy yeah. <laughs> with what he's doing right now. And, you know, when I first came here uh, for my press conference, he was one of the first people to, to greet me and welcome me to Indy. So um, it's been fun to watch him. And, you know, I'm obviously happy for the Pacers, but um, I know he's a huge supporter of this team and organization, and he was even before I showed up. So, um, you know, he really supports women's basketball, and, you know, that's something that's really cool, too. How are you going to feel good in the first win? I think it'll be it'll be amazing. Like that's you know that's our goal is to be a winning team, and you know hopefully that's tonight we come out and dominate and take another step forward. But um, you know Coach Christie says like this is a process. This isn't something that's going to happen overnight. And um, I think you're slowly seeing us put put together things from game to game that are getting a little bit better. And I felt like when we were at Connecticut last time we kind of did it to ourselves. I think we had 25 25 turnovers that led to 29 points. Like that's. That's really the game right there, but their transition was good. Um, their offensive rebounding was good. So if we can find a way to limit them in certain areas, I think it's going to help, you know, lead to a win and you know at least be a game down down the stretch where we can give ourselves a chance. Last time out at uh, New York, you know, Kelsey back in the starting lineup. What mm -hmm. does that bring with her being in the two? Start. Yeah, I think Kelsey just brings like a, an energy and a, and a you know a fiery fiery mentality. Like she runs the court so well. Like I kind of just want to pitch the ball up and. You know, let her attack. She, I think she's one of the fastest players in this league. She has great motor. She seems she sees the game so well. Um, she shoots the ball well. I think it can cause some matchup problems, especially when we're screening for each other. Um, but yeah, it was, it was good to see her back in the lineup and kind of get her feet under her again. I know she's still coming back and trying to become herself again. So, um, and our chemistry will come as we continue to play with to, with each other more. And um, but I was happy for her. I thought she gave really great minutes, and uh, we'll continue to to keep building on that too. Be driven by your banner. What's that feel like to see you larger than life? Uh, in a big city yeah, like I saw. It. It's pretty cool. It, it's a pretty good picture, and uh, it, it's kind of weird sometimes. Like as somebody that's looking up and like looking at that, like it's kind of I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's just, just kind of weird, but they did a good job. It looks pretty good. So.